Hey there, we're live. There we go. It's nine o'clock Eastern. I'm in Montreal. It's Heather Boyd Wire and uh, hopefully we'll have some people hopping on tonight. And yet again, I'm doing the live stream on my iPod because I haven't gotten any further with my technology, but it's all good. So if you're hopping on the live stream, I'm going to just check over on my computer as well just to see where we're at and it would be great if you guys could introduce yourself i just have to find that oh hi sharon how are you your first one on right on that's great so i'm just gonna see if i could find you guys on the computer so i could see sometimes i miss comments when they come up so i'm just trying to perfect this technique of doing these live streams where i could actually see you guys when you come up so please don't be offended if i don't see all of your comments and I hope the lighting's okay. I can adjust the lights a little bit. I have some of those softbox lights. Oh, this, you know what? Something else is... There we go. I have a little wire stand for my iPod. And hopefully it's going to be good. I'll just make sure the light is good. If you guys want to introduce yourself and let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching the replay, you can always uh, comment in the um, comments below the video. And I'm going to see if I can find you guys on my computer. And today we're going to do some, uh, every week I try to troubleshoot some new designs. And this week I've been seeing lots of images of keys as pendants and earrings and things. So I thought that would be a really cool thing to do with wire. Kathy, how are you? Nova Scotia, that's so awesome. Kathy, I've seen your name before. Are you, do you follow SJ Custom Art or is that another person? I get mixed up with all the people that I meet online and SJ Custom Art actually does a lot of live streaming. Uh, I don't know how he finds the hours in the day. He does a lot of stuff on Periscope. He's a very talented uh, uh, artist. Okay, I see the video on my computer. I'm just going to turn the sound down. There, turn it right down. And there's probably delays. So there we go. So I can see the comments on the computer. And I can see um, the screen here. So I'm going to kind of flip back and forth. You love keys, Sharon. They're so vintage and adorable. Well, that's it. I love the key, the symbolis symbolism of keys as well. And it's going to be a little tricky to get them to look nice um, out of wire but I'm going to do what I can. I've been kind of googling and looking around to see what's available and uh, before I hop onto that I wanted to show you guys um, my last design that I did. You probably saw the video that I posted on Saturday and this is a really fun story be behind these earrings. These are the uh, Fleur de Vie earrings uh, which in English is flower of life. So I don't know if you guys have seen that symbol before. I'd seen it before, but I'd never really knew what it was called. And my friend Danielle asked me to make them and I thought it would be like way too complicated to do. Hi, uh, hi from Laura in S oh, South Carolina. Awesome. That's so cool. Is it the same time down there at 9 p.m.? Uh, you can let me know in the comments. I'm still trying to pinpoint the best time to do these live streams. So uh, we'll figure that one out. So anyways, this is a very simplified design for the Fleur de, Lee, uh, Fleur de Vie, not Fleur de Vie. And uh, thank you, kids learning from Tanisha. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, you guys. That's awesome. So there's a video tutorial for this. This is my last video from last week. So I won't go too much into that. But I'm going to show you guys the sketches that I've been doing for, they're probably backwards, but this is a sketchbook that I keep. Uh, oh yes, you're in Eastern time. Awesome. So this is uh, some ideas I had for my husband and I were at a comedy night uh, last week and um, we were doing sketches for it because he likes neon signs and neons, making neon signs is very similar to making wire art. Same concept. In fact, uh, he made he used to make neon signs before he got into wire art. So we were looking at neon signs and uh, analyzing how the letters were made because they have to be made also with one continuous uh, piece of glass. So those were sketches for that. And then um, I got into doing sketches for keys. So here's some of the sketches. This is more. This is actually a key that I traced, but that's not where I'm going with that. Like I wanted to incorporate uh, beads and wire and all kinds of things so here's and here's some more designs so, so a lot of them are based on images i've seen online or 
or uh, what I try to do is when I don't like to copy designs exactly when I'm doing new designs so I go online I do some sketches and then I don't look at the photos anymore like I just use my sketches at reference so there's already a degree of separation in there and and then the more I just do my own sketches then the ideas um, they're sort of inspired by other people, but they become my own my own designs. And then the next step, of course, is actually trying to make them. So that's the next stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera. And please, I hope it works. If it doesn't work, we're going to have to figure something out. I'm going to try to, so bear with me, you guys. I'm going to flip it into um, selfie mode. I Clara, hey, how are you? Is it I Clara, how you pronounce your name? That's uh, great to see you, uh, great to see you uh, live. This is awesome. So yeah, you can let me know in the comments where you're, where you're from. And I'm gonna flip the screen. Yes, awesome, that's so cool. That's so great that you're part of our group now. That's awesome. So I'm gonna flip this screen and see how it goes. Bear with me guys, I hope it's gonna work out. So I'm going to bring this up. Manhattan. Oh, that's so awesome. We actually want to go to New York, my daughter and I, in um, sometime in May. We can try to make hair clips. Ooh, hair clips would be cool too. So what I'm going to do is I'll bring my sketchbook. I think this looks okay. So the as long as it, there's not too much like of a buffering kind of delay with this. And what I'm going to try to do... I think it's working better than the last time I tried this, which is great. So what I'm going to try to do is just, there we go. We'll get some tools in here. So these are the tools I always use, my round tools, uh, round pliers, flat pliers, cutters, and these are smaller round pliers. And this wire I like because it's uh, very soft. This is the um, artistic copper wire. So this stuff is really great, and I have different colors, so this is red. I'm going to try to go for an antique -y look and use this kind of a brown wire. And let me just look at some of these designs that I was going to try. So let's, why don't we start with something simple, like this kind of a heart type of thing. So in that case, maybe I'll use more of a red, a reddish color. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring this up where I can see it, and this is going to be better. And then I'm going to cut a piece of this wire. And let's just play around with it and see what we come up with. And if you guys have wire at your place and want to play around at the same time, that would be great. And uh, certainly the people that are watching the replay, if they want to try to make some of these and share photos. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but my Instagram, where I share a lot of my wire stuff, is uh, Heather Boyd Wire. And um, so, and also, of course, the uh, Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, which some of you are a part of, which is fantastic, on Facebook. So any people to, uh, to, see, to YouTube and want to join my Facebook group, that would be amazing because there's a lot of talented people in that group sharing photos of their, of their work, which is really neat. Kids Filming, cool. Hey, Kids Filming. That's, cool. That's a cool username. I like that. So let's just, let's just start really simple and just do a basic heart. So what I'm going to do is to make the round forms, I use a Sharpie. So I think I did a live stream before with my daughter Mimi about how to make hearts. And she actually invented this design for the hearts when she was about five years old. I gave her a piece of wire one day and she just kind of bent it like this into the shape of a heart and I was really super impressed so I always tell people I stole her design <laughs> which is pretty funny anyway she's 22 now so and doesn't really do any art, wire uh, art she's more into photography so if we start with the heart like this and what I'm going to try is the one that I saw was just sort of crisscrossed down so let's just keep this one super simple and let's just kind of do a twisty thing down. It's almost like you're turning a key, which is kind of cool. So we're just going to do like a twisty, super, super simple, down like this. It might be a little out of proportion because I made the heart really big and this is really skinny, but let's just try it. And then 
Another thing that I saw was for the part that goes into the keyhole, they had uh, some some designs had also done like just sort of a little heart shape there to make it really stylized. So the idea is to make it super stylized so it doesn't have to look like a real key, but it kind of looks like that idea. So let's just try it in the same way. We'll do a little a little heart. Hopefully this is clear enough for you guys to see. So we'll do another kind of little twisty heart. It's almost Celtic looking, you know, with these twirly whirlies and the little hearts and stuff. So let's just go like that. So that also looks like a little heart like that at the side. And then let's just twist it around. And so we don't have any like really rough ends. What I would do is actually cut that right there just to get rid of one end of the wire because that's often the trick with doing wire art is what do you do with the ends because it's kind of tricky. It's that's like the the finishing touches because you don't want any like scratchy ends. So here's sort of a base like that and then uh, thank you. Oh, I like your key emoji. You are the queen of emojis. I think so. So let's... Hey, it's uh, Ali. That's right on. Thanks for coming on the live stream. That's awesome. Are you at home? Or are you in Montreal? Very. It's neat, eh, Sharon? Yeah. Yeah, so the, so the key is to how to finish it. So I'm just going to... What I did, I just bent that end back. And I'm just going to twist this end around a little more. And if you wanted to fill it out a little more, here, let me bring it up so you guys can see it. You're at home, that's awesome. So see how this is really skinny. What I might wanna do is build it up a bit. And see, I've, it wouldn't hurt to try it because, you know, what have I got to lose? But this is, so this is how it would look if I didn't bend it up a little more there. So it's kind of cool. And then if I do want to bend it, if I wanna go over it to make it a little thicker, we can actually go back over these the uh, twisty part one more time if you wanted to. So that's, you know, it just kind of make fills it out a little bit. And even if you wanted to add a bead, you know, why not? Because we have extra wire. We may as well just go for it. I'm just going to look in my beads to see if I have one that kind of matches. I brought all my beads down. Oh, here's one that's nice. This is actually a miracle bead. This one's really cool. So we can try to add the bead on there and see what it does like that. So what do you guys think? Should we keep the bead or should we just keep it with wire? I need some feedback. You guys can let me know what you think. I'm not sure if we need the bead or if we... So this is with the bead and this would be keep the bead <laughs> okay you're you're the first one to answer so let's just keep that bead there and let's just so then we're going to twist it around beads love it awesome you guys are great that's why i love doing these live streams so we'll just we'll just go like that cool it makes it look it looks good thicker too well there you go so sometimes developing designs is all about just trying it and it's good to have more dimension it just makes it look um you know, more finished, like more solid. And then this little end, we can just bend it flat like that. So here's one design, very improvised. Hey, Tina, how are you? Welcome. Oh, I like your little doggy in the profile picture. He's so cute. Is that your doggy? So here's one key design. Not too bad for a first attempt, because really I'm just trying these with you guys. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with all this. But, uh, so let's try another design. You're good. I'm, I'm great. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed today it was snowing. We thought it was spring and now it uh, seems to be getting cold again. But I think this is our last little blast of winter before, uh, before the spring. It's supposed to go down to minus six this week in Celsius. Oh, thanks, Allie. You like that one? That's cool. So now I'm going to just try some different designs. Let's see what else I have in my notes. Uh, 
Uh, we could do a more Celtic one. Oh, there was one I really liked with a bead in the middle. I think I'm going to try that one. So it's cold there too, eh? Oh, yes, it's crazy weather. So I'm going to find a little round bead. Let's see what I've got. I have so many beads, I don't even know what to choose anymore. Oh, this one's kind of cool. So here's kind of like a a funky bead. So let me move that one out of the way. I'm going to try to put a bead in the middle. And uh, let's see if I could find the hole. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. So we're going to put a little bead in the middle. And I think what I'm going to try to do, I'm just going to go back to my notes. Yeah, so this one, what I want to do is like kind of a little flower shaped sleet and snowed on Easter. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, this weather, you just never know. <laughs> okay, so let's try this. I'm going to just do like a little, let me just think, uh, think, 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 think. Okay, you know what might be easier? I think it's going to be easy enough like this. So, <laughs> you guys are very patient because I'm just working out these designs as we go. So, I'm going to just use my round my larger round pliers and I'm going to try to do like little loops all the way around this these beads so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to go all the way around like that and you can kind of shape it around as you go it's going to look a little bit like a flower if you're having trouble if the bead gets in the way just separate it a little bit move it towards the the front rich and master me oh you guys are awesome you're you're so patient and i feel like when i would when i used to do workshops like kids workshops and adults workshops often i would go with these ideas of things to make hey claire how are you nice to see you you're always hopping on my live stream i'm happy so so here we go. So we're going to just troubleshoot. Yeah, so like I said, when I, when I used to do these workshops, I would go with an idea and a project. And then, uh, oh, <laughs> you guys are so sweet. And, and often, by the end of the workshop, I would have like all these new des design ideas and projects based on, you know, people's feedback and, and uh, things that they wanted to do. So it's really... It's just a win-win situation all around. So oop, I got to just be careful not to run off the screen here. So there we go. We're just going to go around. It's looking a little bit like a flower, but I like the, sort of the depth and the dimension that it's getting. There we go. <laughs> well, it's just in the it's just in the practice. I have been making wire art for 30 years, which is kind of crazy to even imagine right now. But uh, it's uh, definitely with experience that you get you get to do things. I love your live streams. Nice. Oh well, I do one when I come to Ottawa. Maybe I should do one when when I come to Ottawa. This is if you guys are wondering. Claire is our friend that lives uh, in my hometown, and we go visit her when we're there. And uh, yeah, Claire, maybe maybe we can do a live stream. It's fun, eh, Sharon? Oh yeah, I'd love to see what you do with this. So this is what we've got so far. It's very funky. So now the same idea. We want to finish this uh, end off. So let's just like bend this around. And we're going to clip that right off because there's really not much we can do with that. Sometimes I would keep it and maybe try to do something with it. But because it's so such a short end and I couldn't I didn't really predict how short that would be, but it ended up being really short. So I think we'll just cut it off. So here's our beginning parts of a decorative key this actually looks really super antique because it's it's kind of an antique copper color and then I think what we're going to do for this is just pull this down like this we're going to just um, bend it to about what length we want I'm not going to make this one too big so let's just bend it maybe around here Okay, so we'll just bend it like that, and then now, let me just see, I'm just going to figure out what I want to do here. Yeah, uh, duh, 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 duh. 
I have many options of things that I can do, but the sketch that I did was very simple. It's looking cute, thanks, Claire. My wheels are turning in my head, wondering what to do with it. But I think I'm gonna bend this to, to the back and just follow what I originally did on my sketch, which was just to do, you know how keys have the little things that come out to the side? So this is the tricky part, is to figure out how to do that. So what I'm going to do, let me move these out of the way. What I'm going to do is actually just take this and bend it around like that. Okay, so there's one. And then the sketch that I did, can you wrap it up and then down? Yeah, I, I, that might be a good idea to do it that way too. I think what I'm going to do for this one, I'll just, I'm going to try something like this where you bend it around like that yeah maybe just kind of wrapped and bent back and forth so let me just try this and see yeah we're just let's just try it like this so we're going to go around a few times and the tricky part too is to get it so it actually like sits in shape like i might want to do like a full round around like i wasn't sure if i would twist it around as well but i think i will twist it around like that and it's great doing this because the next time I do it, I might do it slightly differently, but at least, like for now, it gives sort of an idea. It's kind of cool, actually. I'm, I'm kind of liking this. So we're gonna go around like that. But you don't want, and you don't want to do too much or it's going to end up looking um, not too much like a key. So let's just go all the way around and then you could you could actually leave it like that or you could fatten this end up a little bit more so let's just push this here let me bring it up to the front a bit and it fits if they're kind of parallel oh okay guys i gotta plug in my ipod i'm gonna just leave that there for a sec i wasn't sure how my battery would last but i see doing live streams really takes batteries so let me just plug it in before we I lose you guys. Okay, that should be good. And just let me get the this out of the way. This is called troubleshooting. Sorry if I'm moving you guys around a little bit just while I get this out of the way. Won't be long, there we go. Okay, perfect, now you're plugged in so I won't lose you. So now we're gonna move this part up to the top a little bit. Like see if we if we move it up like that so it's parallel it's going to be a little bit thicker but now the question is how do you attach it in place so I think what I would do is I would just you have to be really careful not to scratch it but what I would do is just kind of hold it up near the top with the flat pliers and then just bend it around to hold it in place okay and then we can clip this bit at the back like that and there we have key number two which is kind of funky oh new from what's up Montreal. okay so i just got a sorry i just got a notification on my thing now i thought it was someone commenting but it was a notification that's why we moved to the beach wow that's nice I didn't go anywhere warm this year. I bought a car instead, so that was my vacation. So here we go. Yeah, two keys like that. So let's try to do one more. I'm gonna look at my, oh, that's interesting. There, I have one that had beads, has beads all around it too. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that one. So now what I'm going to do is I'll get some silver color. Thanks, Sharon. So let's get some a silver color one and I have, I did a sketch for one that has uh, beads all around, so I think what I'm going to do for that one is, what I would do is just bend this on a right angle. Let me move these ones out of the way, and then when I want to make the round shape, I'm going to actually take a round form and go around, this end I cut really long, but that's okay. So I'm going to just go around like that to because it's easier if you form the circle first. So here's 
the round form. So now what I want to do is I'm going to put beads on this one to make like a whole round thing of beads. So let me grab my beads. This is what gauge or wire. So all of the gauge that I'm looking very vintage. Yeah, the the Clara, the last one looked really vintage with that with the uh, uh, kind of brown wire. All the gauge wires that I'm using for this project are 20 gauge, and that's sort of my go-to wire gauge. It's it's my favorite one. So let's put some beads on here and. To be able to get them around the loop, I'm going to use beads that are um, have a big hole in them, a larger hole. And the beads I like to use for that are these miracle beads because they're small, they're four millimeters, but they do have a large um, hole in them. So let me use the blue ones. The blue ones are pretty. These are like a royal blue. So let's just see. Yeah, see, they're going to go right. They're going to go right around because the hole is large, so they're not going to get stuck. Because sometimes when you use beads with a um, smaller hole, they they won't go around that circle like that. So let's do that. We're just going to put a bunch of beads. And of course you can use any colors. This just happens to be the ones that I have that fit on the wire. And if you do uh, use beads with smaller holes that wouldn't go around the circle like that, you can always just do a straight line of beads and then form it on a round form after because um, yeah for them to go around the circle they if they have a small hole they're not going to work too well but see how well these ones just go right around and I'm not sure this would be my normal color choice for the bead uh, but you know it's going to be okay just for just for a sample to see how it goes and I'm not sure how many beads we need but uh, maybe about 10 or 12 or something I also love the turquoise beads, but I don't have as many of those as I do the blue ones. So I'll just go with blue for now. Uh, maybe one more. Okay. So, yeah, that's a good amount. So let's get rid of the beads. Okay. And let me just see. Okay, I think that's okay. We'll just put the beads like that for now. And actually this... The drawing I did had some other beads inside, so I might end up putting more beads up there after. But for now, let's do it this way. I think I cut this way too long. And then the other thing I, I wanted to do was to try to do... Oops, sorry, I'm moving this one a little bit. To try to do a different shape for the, for the thing at the bottom. You know what I'm going to do? I think I will put a bead there, just to make it a little... A little more fancy like I got nothing to lose right so let's put another oh well, I don't like that bead so much some some of the beads I have are kind of painted but they um, they're not that well they're not that well painted oh, this might be okay like that it's a little dark so let's just see what else I can do oh here's an antique looking one that's kind of interesting too Oh, I can't decide, guys. You guys have to help me. We can do that one. Okay, there's the brass one. Let's try a pearl. Mm, maybe not. And this one may be a little big. This is a shiny one. No, I think I'm I think I might like the brass one. And let's see what else I have. Oh, I also have these that are cat size. I like these ones too. That one's kind of cool. Why don't we use the cat's eye? That's kind of funky. So let's do that. And what I'm thinking is it might also be good to have a loop at the top to actually be able to hang this as a pendant. So if we just like put that one like there, um, unfortunately my wire isn't super long to do a pendant, but we could probably figure something out. So if we go like that, if if the wire was uh, a little longer, I could actually like twist it around to make it more solid. But because my wire is not very long, I'm just going to cut it kind of flush like that. Yeah, if, if I was going to make a pendant, I would want to make it more solid and twist it around a few times. But I think for now, let's just do it this way. So this is cool. Now we have a little loop to hang it on if we want to put it on a necklace. And then this is sort of 
funky part of the top of the the key and then what I wanted to do well there was even some designs that I had that had little beads going down here let me see if I have some long narrow beads I don't think I do oh this is cool too these won't fit on my wire but these are called bugle beads they're like tall skinny beads so this would be really cool to put on something too but I'm just trying to see if I have some narrow beads. I have like a bead like this. I've never seen magic beads. Magic beads are awesome. Um, I actually, there's some places in Montreal you can buy them, but I have bought them online before. I've actually bought them from a few different companies. So maybe what I could do is once I upload this video, uh, underneath I could put a link to where I buy the miracle beads because they're, they're really great. Yeah, these beads, I don't have any beads handy that are going to work out for this I don't think although this is funky look at this this is like a let me just try to put this one on I think it might be a little fat but let's just try it to see how it works to put like like that would be cool to put some like metal beads on there Ooh, I don't know I kind of like it it's it's you know what I'm gonna do that <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely give you guys resources of where to buy some of these some of these things. Okay, you know what? I'm it's strange, but I'm I kind of liking that bead there. So I'm gonna actually use that and let me just see what other beads I have. The other things I have in the metal is I have like these little coils. What makes them different from other beads? Well, miracle beads, I'm not sure how they're made, but I, and I think they probably are made out of acrylic but they have a real glow to them let me get you I'm going to show you one of the bigger ones the little ones it's hard to tell but they're sort of I don't know how to describe it they're they almost look like they're glow, glowing in a way not like glow in a dark but just they have a shimmer to them See, they have a kind of a shimmer to them, and they're they're just beautiful, beautiful beads. And they're very, they're actually really lightweight, so I think they are plastic. But uh, yeah, they're really, really cool. I love them. I use them all the time, actually. I'm sorry, I'm just digging in my beads to see what I have for metal beads, so that I can put a metal bead at the bottom of this key. Ooh, this one's kind of funky, too. See, this is sort of a round metal bead. Let's see how that's going to look. Okay, and my wire is way too long, so I'm actually going to cut it a little bit. So let's just cut it like that. I'm just going to give one last look for my metal beads. And no, I think, I think I'm going to try for this one. Let's see. And yeah, that's the trouble when I don't prepare... The live streams I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna need so I'm just winging it with what I have here's like a little a little metal bead here that might work okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to do this part in the middle that looks like a key so let's just try that so if we bend this on a bit of a right angle and what I'll do is after the live stream, I'll try to work out some other designs. And then if I come up with some other key designs, kind of based on these, I'll put pictures of them in the Facebook group, in the um, Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club Facebook group. And anybody that's here or watching the replay, please hop on over to Facebook and join that group. That would be awesome. So let's just see. Oh, there's another one I wanted to try too, but <laughs> I'm just looking at all the designs. There's another one I want to try, but let's let's try this one to see. This is sort of like a old school type of key design. So if we go, let's just bend it like that. Okay, I'm going to try it like this. And then just looking at my sketches. So if we go kind of down like this. We're just going to try to make the key part. Like, that's the tricky part, is to make this little key part at the bottom actually look like a key. This is almost going to look like a puzzle piece. But I think it's going to be really funky. I made a whole bunch of puzzle piece earrings for a lady that, um, she, her name is Dr. Cizini. And actually, I, I helped her make one of her recent uh, YouTube videos. And she um, was speaking at an autism conference. Uh, uh, conference I guess and I made her a whole bunch of puzzle earrings so uh, so I don't think I have a tutorial for that but I should do a tutorial to make puzzle earrings because they're pretty easy 
So here's sort of like a little key shape. This one actually might look a little silly after all, but you know, you never know until you try these designs. You know, it's it's hit and miss, so sometimes I might like ruin it or something, but <laughs> at least I tried, you know, because you don't know unless you try. So let's put this little silver bead on the end. Now the trouble with this silver bead, it has a really big hole, so I don't think it's going to hold in shape. So let's see what else we have for beads. Oh, I have also a little spring bead. Actually, this is cute. It's almost steampunky. This, these are just little spring ends that I use for uh, putting on necklaces. So if I cut the little loop off the end and we just stick this spring on here, okay, so we've got like this little spring end. I'm not 100% convinced about this, what I have going on here, but let's just try it. So if we bring that up like that, okay, if we bring that up a little bit, and I think what I have to do, yeah, because I can't string that back in there. So let me just go like this. If I bend this around a little bit, just to hold it in place. And I think what I'm actually going to have to do is cut it off there, because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that end. So let's just try this. So I just cut off that end, and I just, I'm going to go in like this. It's a little warbly. But let me see if I can just adjust it a little bit to be not too bad. Okay, so if we just bring these ends a little bit in, like that. Yeah, this this thing's a little iffy, but it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's the concept, eh? So the idea of putting beads all around, and then like a long bead, and then another little thing going on there. So it's not too bad. So we have these three. And, but I realize there's one more I want to try to make. So <laughs> if you guys want to stay on just for a minute, I'm going to try to make one more. And maybe I'll use, I have some red wire. Actually, you know what? I have this brass wire. I haven't really used it before because it's not, you know, it's probably a lot um, stiffer than the copper wire because it's actually brass. So let me... Let me just cut a piece and see, to see what it's like. Oh, it doesn't feel too bad. So it's by the same company, the Artistic Wire Company, but instead of the copper, it's actually brass. What if, uh, what if you made the middle less of a circle? Like this, this middle part here, like less of a circle? I think that's probably a good idea. And I have to do something about this because, well, it's not too bad. It's all right. But yeah, I would love it if you guys made some of these to uh, send me pics on the on the uh, Facebook page. That would be awesome. So this was this is the last design I wanted to try. It's a very simple kind of uh, Celtic or Celtic design. So let's see if I could do this one. So we're going to get this and we're going to get some around form. So let's just bring that around like that and hopefully the proportions will be okay. So we're going to go up here. It's just sort of a typical kind of uh, Celtic shape. And you guys can't tell me if it's pronounced Celtic or Celtic because I can't tell pronunciation unless you write it phonetically in a way that I can read your comments to tell me which is, I guess if Celtic would be like a line over the sea and Celtic would be like a little, a little round uh, accent over the sea. But uh, I think it can be said anyway. So this is kind of cool, like a little clover type shape, but I'm not quite sure if that's exactly what I, I want to do it. I'm going to just try it like that for now. Okay, and so the idea is we'll start with something like this. This one, I didn't really mean to do it on a on a bend like that. So let's just try it something simple. Yeah, this is this is going to be cool. So we're just very simple up like that. And then what I want to do is go to where I want the end to be and just kind of bend it up. I'm not going to bend it too sharply like that. And then what I want to do, I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. Celtic with a K. Thank you. <laughs> 
And the sports team is Celtic. That's hilarious. Okay. I stand corrected. Thank you so much. So there we go. So we're going to bend that one like this. And then we're going to bend this out like this. And let's see what I wanted to do. Yeah, so if what I want to do is I want to crisscross these ends. Do you see how I've got it like that? And then these ends are crisscross. So what I actually wanted to do is just without destroying the shape, we want to hold this and just give it a little twist. So just twist it a couple of times because you want it to be able to twist it enough so it holds together. So if I twist it, say, three times like that, and then to keep it super simple, I'm just going to make little spirals here. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we, with our big round pliers, we're just going to twist it around once. Same on the other side. You want it to be very similar. So we'll twist it around once. My husband told me that. <laughs> I didn't know the sports team. <laughs> That's hilarious. Who knew? I'm not a sports person. That's for sure. I actually used to watch the Canadians, a uh, hockey team, uh, because of course they're from Montreal. And um, when they went on strike a couple of years ago, I said, oh, forget this. I'm not even going to follow them anymore because I was so disappointed. You know, I was really getting into it. And then they went on strike and it's like, oh, OK, forget that. So and that was also in the day when I used to drink beer. So we used to go to the bar and watch the uh, watch the Canadians play uh, hockey. But uh, I haven't drank in any al alcohol for three years. So I certainly don't drink beer anymore. So you see how I'm forming these little spirals? So we're just going to keep forming them around. And we're going to go right around to make the spirals. Okay, and this side too. Try to get them as even as possible. So we're just going to go around like that. Okay, and then I'm going to get my cutters. I'm only a football fan now because of the Eagles are with you. That's hilarious. Yeah, football, I certainly never really understood how that works. I used to play soccer when I was younger, but just for fun. You know, when I was a kid, they didn't really have organized leagues or anything. We just played, uh, we actually used to call it killer soccer. And when I was in grade six, we used to play this soccer game and it was, we were pretty brutal. In fact, someone I think even broke their collarbone playing <laughs> killer soccer, hence the name. So there we go. So we're just going to get these spirals going in there. Yeah, they're not as tight as I would have liked to make these spirals, but they're not too bad. It's just, just the idea to see how they work. So we're going to go in and just bring it. Yeah, this, this would be nicer if the spirals were a little tighter. But I think just for the idea, we'll just go like that. Yeah, if we tighten them up a bit, they look, they look a little nicer. We're going to go like that. But the idea of this one is just to keep it very simple. And again, you could add beads to it. But for now, it's just the idea. So for the key form, you just do little spirals like that. So let's have a look at what we did. I'm going to put them all on a paper. It's amazing what we can do in 40 minutes. And, there, and then you guys can vote which one you like the best. So we have... If you want to comment and let me know which one you like. So we have the heart. We have the kind of antique looking key. We have the kind of out of control funky beaded one. And we have the classic one. I clear, I like it. Awesome. I like all your keys. So which one do you like the best? American football is different from soccer. I don't really understand it. We live outside of Philly, so they're oh, really big around there, I guess so, eh? So yeah, so you guys let me know which ones you want, uh, you like, and I will, uh, why don't I flip the screen and sign off? Did you get a good look? The first and the last are your favorite? Awesome. Yeah, this one's just a little like that. Okay, so I am going to, I'm going to put these down. I'm going to flip the screen. And see if it works. There we go. There we go, because I always like to say goodbye. You can't decide between the heart and the flower. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to post pictures of them in the Facebook group. 
the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. And uh, if I make any more, I'll definitely post photos of those as well. And if you guys make any key uh, pendants or earrings, uh, definitely share them in the Facebook page or on Instagram and at sign me at Heather Boyd Wire, or you can even e email me pictures at info at heatherboydwire.com. You like the second one too. Oh, that's so awesome. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna sign off for now. We're actually gonna watch a movie and uh, and hit the hay, and we're, actually, we're going away to Ottawa this weekend. So Claire, if you're still on board, we'll see you this weekend. And we'll see you guys all on YouTube and the Facebook, I love your Facebook. Awesome. That's so cool. And thanks so much for, for hopping on tonight. And we will see you guys next week, if not before. Talk to you soon. Thanks, thanks for hopping on. I'm going to just go...